Hello, Mommy Badger Army. We are Venom. Yes, today we're going to be reviewing Sour Blue Raspberry, the Candy Castle Mutations, Venom Gunk. So, obviously, they've added a lots of words in to try and avoid getting in trouble with Marvel. Or, you know, they could have just done a collaboration. But it says Sour Hazard Zone Venom Gunk. Uh, sour, ra sour Blue Raspberry. One of my favourites. Ah, yes, let's have a look at this one. So, it says Sour Blue Raspberry Flavoured Gel Candy. Ingredients, glucose syrup, water, acidity regulator. Ooh, preservatives. Yum. And of course, flavour, colour, brilliant blue. Not suitable for children under three years old. No poop, Sherlock. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's apparently vegan friendly and you get 120 grams worth. So it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Look at that. Very spooky, isn't it? And you've got the... Uh, see, it does almost have that sort of venom from Marvel purple tinge, you know. In some of the comic books, obviously, it was purpley. He was dark blue, and of course, most recently, black. And look, there's a weird little spooky alien there with three eyes, and it's all wibbly from the sour, and it's songs out going, oh no, this is too sour for me. Oh dear. Right now, so let's have a little look at what it looks like. The Venom Gunge. Oh, look at that. Dripping everywhere. Oh dear. Oh, oh who's the mama? Ooh. Certainly interesting. Ooh. Mm. Right. Okay. After that lovely little reset button there, I will tell you that I think this cost about one pound fifty. Um, you do get a sizable amount of uh, venom gunge in there, which is rather good, isn't it? And there is obviously the normal health warnings, please be careful. And uh, yeah, I quite like that. It is very sour. It's one of these things where the, the more you eat of it, the sourer it gets. If you were to have like a tiny little bit, you go, hmm, that was nice, wasn't it? Like a teeny whistle, you go, hmm. If you start going glug, 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 or you pour a load on your finger and go, oh, like that, you are in for a surprise. It is very, very, mouth-wateringly spicy in that way. Yes, I have found that that is rather thirst-quenchingly over the top, <laughs> but in a very good way. So I would say that if you want some sort of soft reset during the day, and you cannot find any Red Bull or anything like that, and you fancy some cheeky sweets, then I would definitely recommend this as very nice and please do not get confused in the morning this is not toothpaste this will not help your teeth at all trust me on this one it will probably make them soft and bend so <laughs> but really nice though very sour uh, obviously store in a cool dry place um you know it probably lasts forever this will probably never go out of date um but yeah there probably is a sell by date somewhere uh, there is a roseconfectionery.co.uk if you wish to check out their website. And I would definitely say that this is given a solid 6 out of 10 for sourness and, uh, and fun, you know. And it's not currently recycled, probably because of the contents of the acidity regulator. <laughs> I'm joking. But it's obviously not suitable for recycling. But, you know... Hopefully they're bound too soon. But yes, I thought it was really nice. Good solid score, good solid fun, really lethal. So yeah, if you fancy trying some of this, check out Venom Gunk uh, from Candy Castle. Really fun, mutated uh, little uh, thing. And I reckon they put it as a toothpaste thing on purpose because it's lethal. But yeah, this is a really nice little product. So I would recommend trying to find that if you can for a bit of fun and games. 
and yeah so please guys don't forget out to uh, the trap is out now uh, the newest film from the show and we also have our collaboration film the tea bag trap with cracker media and of course badger jr and of course cracker media and of course viking helped out on that as well so thank you very much guys for that yes so please do check out the trap and the tea bag trap as well and Cringe Dating 2 will be out soon. We've filmed most of the scenes for it. Just got some little bits and pieces to do. And then that'll be out soon as well. And uh, no doubt there'll be more trap films and lots of other fun coming up soon as well. So please do uh, look forward to that and I'll let you know. Hopefully there's going to be a Halloween special soon as well. And lots of fun and games. So thank you very much for watching guys. And a big thank you to everyone who is a member on here and on Twitch. Thank you very much, because without you, we wouldn't have been able to do the tea bag trap. Uh, that was really, really cool that we got to use uh, some different bits and pieces that we had to pick up, like the, the, the I don't know, like the, um, the beans, obviously. We had to pick up, the <laughs> we had to use like the tape, we had to get that, we had to get loads of different bits and pieces. So thank you very much for your help. And of course the gross tea bags, <laughs> and all that sort of stuff and lots of other props that we used so thank you very much and of course thank you very much for helping us use Kraken Media's time and energy and all that sort of stuff so hopefully that was awesome of them as well so thank you very much it was a great great collaboration and loads of fun so big shout out to you guys for joining us for that if you watched it live but please if you haven't seen it yet check out the tea bag trap as it was loads of fun Righty ho guys, I'll see you in the next review. Look after yourselves, keep safe, keep well, much love everyone, and I'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, movie, or short. Bye! See you later.